Handicapper Steve here, handicapping the racing from Haydock Park here on Saturday. It is the 20th of November, 2021. We're going to look at the stakes races on the program from Haydock, but before I get on to that, remember to please follow me on Twitter at Horse Racing Kit 5 for more selections for race courses around the world, and I mean it around the world. Let's look at the stakes action races 5 and 6, the 225 and the 3 o'clock. The 225, it is the Grade 3 Stayers Handicap Hurdle. It's a Grade 3 event for Class 1 horses going for a purse of 137000 thousand dollars race for four-year-olds and upwards we have a field of 16 horses going to the hurdles course which is good rated um the distance of ground of 4800 meters or three miles over the course my top selection i'm gonna go take the seven horse orby's legend we'll go seven two in the forecast exacta seven two forecast exacta top selection seven horse orby's legend five-year-old gelding by milan um, gets Ben Jones up in the saddle for Philip Hobbs. The horse is most recent out of game, the Grade 3 Silver Trophy Handicap Hurdle at Chepstow. Chepstow, 2007 16th, the 9th of October. And he put on a show. He won by length, but he could have been driven a lot more late. He jumped well, quickened up nicely, and had a lot left in tank. Coming here with a longer trip today off a very good race. I think he's sitting on a very good run today, and I think he can improve off that race. I think the going really suits him well also. Two back for the 12th of March of Sand on yielding ground two miles on a Class 4 National Hunt Novice Hurdle, and he won by a dozen that day, and again, he just won for fun. The distance, you know, two miles he liked, but uh, I, I think the extra mile shouldn't shoot, you should suit him well again today. An all-around good race on the sw slightly quickish ground. And then at Exeter, he ran the 14th of February before that, 2 miles 5, 16th in a National Hunt uh, Noms Hurdle Class 4 event. He finished third by 13 lengths. He didn't weaken out of it, but never quickened up either. I don't. He didn't have the fluid, fluid jumps that day. Can't speak. But, um, you know, he it was an okay race, but he could have did a little bit more there. And then prior to that, at um, Exeter on the 4th of December, soft ground, 2 miles and 8th in a National Hunt Noms Hurdle. He won by 3 quarters in length. He went a low weight. He was driven nicely and he got the job done coming here today off some very good runs on good ground at seven to one i think he's loaded don't throw out the two horse brinkley either tom scudamore is on this one for david pipe you know most recently at Sheldon during festival he just really never had a good good run i don't think he liked the layout there but his races before that especially that one canton race last january could win against these horses um you know 10 to 1 we'll use him in the play spot but i do prefer the other one before him but to recap my selection for the 225 the fifth race from haydock it's the great three stairs handicap hurdle let's take the Seven horse Orbeez Legend. Give kudos to the two horse Brinkley. Seven two in the forecast exacto. The sixth race, three o'clock from Haydock. It is the Grade one bet fair chase. It's a grade one event for class one horses going for a purse two hundred seventy four thousand dollars. Races for five year olds and upwards. Eight horses are going the distance of ground here of let's see uh, of six thousand meters or the distance of ground of three miles and a quarter over the chase course. The road to the Shelton Gold Cup kind of begins with this race here. Still a few months away, but uh, my top selection. I'm going to take the seven horse Royal Pagali. As a top selection, pardon me if I mispronounced the horse's name wrong. Um, <laughs> I'm hard. I, I watch the replays, but I watch the replays on silent because I don't like you know listening to the commentator sometimes. Which I should really start listening to them because some of the pronunciations of my words are just incredible. Especially uh, when I look at these races uh, you know, here on this uh, broadcast. But um, the seven horse Royal Pagali or Pagali. This um, if we're gonna go seven one six in the tri cast trifecta. Seven one six tri cast trifecta. Back to the top selection, seven horse, um, seven real gun by Blue Brussel. Totally Deutsch is on this one for Nisha Williams. The horse is most recent out of game, 19th of March at Cheltenham, three miles and a quarter in the grade one Cheltenham Gold Cup. Set their heights a little bit too high that day. He sent off at 14 1, which is amazing. I thought he should have been triple that odds, but um, you know, he, he jumped well early on. He, he needed a little extra turn of foot late, but you know, he, he wasn't beating those horses, but he showed some potential. Coming here, not the strongest grade one in the world, off the back to Kent, back to Haydock, where he's run very well in the past. I'm going to give him a shot here today, stepping up uh, to the big boys. Two back in a limited handicap chase at Haydock, three miles and a quarter, 23rd of January, and it went by 16, and he straight the group of horses home. He jumped well, quickened up nicely, and it was an all-around good, good race there. And then prior to that, at Campton during the Christmas meeting, three miles in a class two handicap chase, he won by three and a quarter lengths. He had to be used a lot that day, but he still got the job very, very nicely done there. Uh, you know, he went up a, quite a few numbers there in the speed figures. And then prior to that, Haydock on the 2nd of December, seasonal reappearance, two miles, three quarters in class two novice chase, won by seven. And again, wasn't 100% cranked that day, but he still put on a show. Last jumping season, he had a great season. The only subpar race was in the Gold Cup. 
but ideally he wasn't going to win that day either. But he, he ran his heart out there for all said and done. Coming here to the new jumping season, not the world's toughest grade one. I think at 8 to 1, he's sitting on a very good race. His form's been really good. Um, and, um, you know, he's consistent at times. I'm going to take him here. I'm also going to use the one horse of plus tard. Rachel Blackmore is on this one for Henry de Bromhead. Um, you know, most recently they ran the horse in the Gold Cup at Sheltenham where he nearly got to Manila Ido. Um, who just jumped that better race than this one. But uh, this horse, you know, had nothing bad about the run. Uh, before that, one of the Savills chased at Leopard's in, in December and then uh, had a disappointing place before that in the seasonal reappearance last year at uh, at Navin in Ireland. But coming here, you know, should handle the yielding going. Um, you know, the race in Sheldon wasn't bad at all. We'll give him a shot, but sometimes I've noticed this horse sometimes needs to race first off the bench. That's going to be the big question with her and with him today, but he can win on ability when he runs his great race. But to recap my selection for the 3 o'clock, the 6th race from Haydock, it's grade 1 bet fair chase. We're going to take the 7th horse Rope and Gailey has a top selection. Give kudos to the one horse and plus tard. 716 Tri Cash Trifecta. 7 1 in the place pot. So good luck to all. Please follow me on Twitter at Horse Racing Kid 5. Good luck, everybody.